everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a keto cheesy biscuit that we're gonna be making in the air fryer. This is gonna be one of the most delicious biscuit recipes that is super, super easy to make and most importantly, it is low carb and super keto friendly. So first thing we're gonna do and of course, as you guys already know, I'm gonna include all of my ingredients as well as my measurements in the description below, so no need to take notes. And I'll tell you what you can modify uh, to make this your own. So I just have some almond flour here. I'm going to put this into a larger bowl. And first I wanna make sure that all of the clumps are broken up. So I'm just gonna take a whisk and just kind of press down to make sure that all the clumps are gone. Perfect, and now we're going to add baking powder, garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika. Now this is optional. You do not have to add smoked paprika if you don't want. I think it gives a nice kick. And this is black pepper to taste, and then I'll include the salt measurement in the description below. Let's whisk all of our dry ingredients together. This recipe is super, super easy, and it's really delicious with dinner or just like a snack by itself. I kind of like to say that this is sort of the, um, the keto version of the Red Lobster cheesy biscuit, but of course with my own flair to it. And we're not using real flour, we're using almond flour. But this is gonna be one of your new favorite things to make for dinner, especially in the air fryer. It's just so, so easy. No need to take everything out of the oven, turn it on in the oven, not, nothing like that. Just the air fryer that you have at home. All right, so that is whisked together. Let me set this aside for a moment. Next thing I'm gonna do is I have some uh, beaten eggs here. These are two beaten eggs. And I have some melted butter. I've already uh, melted it and let it cool just a little bit. I am going to pour this into the egg and mix this all together. These are our wet ingredients. Bringing back our dry ingredients, I'm gonna pour in the egg with butter into the dry ingredients and we're gonna mix all of this together. Switching to a spoon, I'm gonna scrape the sides here and just mix the remainder of our batter. It already smells so good. It honestly smells exactly like the Red Lobster biscuits, but like so much better and low carb and completely healthy. This is something that you, I promise, are gonna be making at least once a week with your dinner or just enjoying it as lunchtime or snack. This is perfect for all of that. All right, now I'm gonna add some green onions here. I just finally chopped some green onions and that is completely optional. If you don't like green onions, you don't have to add that. But I, again, think it adds such a nice flavor to these biscuits. And I am going to combine that all together. And I used, you can do just the green part, but I actually like the white part of the onion. You can mix it up, do either or, nothing at all. That is completely up to you. It is what you like um, based on flavor. I like a little mix of the green part of the green onion as well as the white part. And now that that's combined, I'm gonna take some pepper jack cheese. So typically you can use a cheddar, either a white cheddar or a, um, a yellow cheddar. Mild is also typically used for this but I really like pepper jack, so that's what I am going to add to my batter. Mix all of that in together until it's completely combined. 
Now that your batter is completely made, what you're going to do is get your air fryer tray now. If you want, you can line it. I did put a, a parchment liner into my air fryer. I think it just makes things less messy. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, or if you don't have the liners, you can just cut a piece of parchment paper to fit into your air fryer tray. And what you're going to do next is you are going to take your batter and form it into balls like this, and then put it into your air fryer tray. So just like that and put it into the tray. And now you wanna do this for the remainder of the batter. It's okay if they touch because they're gonna so easily break apart from each other that you don't have to worry about it. And I just wanna put all of my biscuits into the basket and make it at once. Now there's no particular measurement to this. You can make them smaller or larger. That is completely up to you. They will cook the same. Now, of course, if you wanna make one giant one, that's not gonna cook the same, but these are single serve biscuits. You're gonna to have to try to resist eating these all by yourself though, I, I, I promise. This will be your new favorite thing to make. And you saw how easy this was. Just throw all the ingredients together, form this perfect little biscuit dough, drop it in your air fryer, and make delicious cheesy biscuits. I'm almost done rolling all of my biscuits. Once you're finished, it's gonna look like this in your tray, and I'm gonna put my tray back into my air fryer. And if you're interested in purchasing this tasty air fryer, I have my discount code in the description below. I am going to turn it on. We're gonna do air fry at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. Now we're just gonna let this cook and I will see you guys at the very end when they're finished. And here are our delicious finished cheddar biscuits. It smells so, so good in here. And after they cooked for 15 minutes, I did take them out and let them cool about 10, 15 minutes just so that you can actually, you know, touch them because they're really, really hot when they come out. But let's do a little cheese pull action here. I'm gonna take this one, let's break it apart. I mean, guys, take a look at this cheesy, delicious goodness. Let's take a little bite. Mmm. What I love about these is they're super cheesy. They have almost like a cornbread-like texture, but the flavors are totally not overpowering. This is a perfect, delicious biscuit that you can have with dinner. It is so good if you wanna dip it into a soup or a sauce. You can cut this open and put a spread on it, put some butter on it. You, there's, it's, they're so versatile and you can play around with adding the green onion, not adding the green onion. What kind of seasonings do you wanna use? If you wanna make it a little spicier or not? What kind of cheese do you wanna use or how much you wanna use of it? Honestly, anything works perfectly for this recipe. And you can just see how fluffy this is, how cheesy this is. I mean, let's just, it's just so good. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Also hit that notification bell to never miss a tasty upload. Till next time.